Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be talking a bit more about Borderlands 3. In my recent Borderlands video, I told you guys all about how Randy Pitchford was teasing the game to us on Twitter, which led a lot of people, myself included, to believe that the game was going to be revealed at this year's Game Awards. Well, as I'm sure you guys are well aware, Borderlands 3 was not revealed at this year's Game Awards. In fact, nobody even mentioned the game, and I don't believe anybody at Gearbox even bothered attending the event, which was super disappointing. The Game Awards themselves were awesome. Lots of really cool games were revealed, but unfortunately, Borderlands 3 was not one of them, which was really disappointing for a lot of fans. Well, over the course of the past couple of days, a lot of leaks for the game have been coming out from pretty reputable sources, as well as some not-so-reputable sources, but here's the thing, they all blend together. All these leaks line up together, which makes me believe we're actually talking about some credible Borderlands 3 information, which I want to discuss here in this video. As as always, the links to my sources will be found down there in the description, but the majority of this information is going to be coming from The No, which is a giant YouTube channel, which is part of the Rooster Teeth Network, which actually is pretty reputable in most cases. And then the other information is going to be coming from an image, which lines up with a bunch of other official information. So we're going to be talking about all that here today, and hopefully you guys will sit back, relax, and enjoy. First things first, when is Borderlands 3 supposedly going to be revealed? Well, it turns out, according to these leaks, the game is going to be revealed at some point in early 2019, and the reason why it hasn't been revealed so far is because it simply isn't ready yet. The four Vault Hunters that we will find in Borderlands 3 are just now starting to leave the alpha testing phase of their development, with one of them still being in the alpha testing, therefore they're probably not ready to be completely revealed to a worldwide audience, especially one like us that has been waiting for this game for over five years. Now here's the really interesting part. The No YouTube channel, once again link to that down there in the description, their leak talked about the four Vault Hunters and what they do, right? Which was interesting to hear what the Vault Hunters are actually going to be like. But then, after that video went live, some images started to surface on the internet showing what those Vault Hunters actually look like. And one of them ties into the previous marketing material that Gearbox was giving us, which was kind of disguised as a tech demo. But this lady right here, this woman, is actually one of those Vault Hunters. It lines up perfectly with the art, which is really interesting. So, the four Vault Hunters, apparently, according to these leaks, are going to be a soldier of some sort, which is going to have, instead of a turret like we've seen in Borderlands 1 and Borderlands 2, this soldier is instead going to have a giant mech, sort of similar to Titanfall. There is going to be another character who's going to be somewhat similar to Zero, in that they're going to have a bunch of gadgets and be able to cloak themselves and send out decoys and things like that. There's going to be a Siren, of course, like all Borderlands games, which is apparently going to be a character that focuses on melee, and then the fourth character, who is still in alpha testing right now, is going to be a Beastmaster, who is kind of like a hunter, it sounds like, but they're going to have three different pets they can control, and ones that you get to choose to actually have run around with you. Now, here's the interesting part, right? Here are images of the things that I just described, and as you guys can see, the soldier is pretty much the exact same character that we saw during that tech demo that Gearbox gave us a while ago. Does it not look like that's actually a credible lead? just based on that information alone. Now, looking at the Beastmaster here, that's definitely a very interesting character that still fits within the typical art style of the Borderlands franchise. I will say that the Operative, that's probably the Zero character, right? The gadgets and stuff like that, but still, it's a very odd-looking character in my opinion, but unfortunately, we can't see the Siren here. All we can see is the hand of the Siren, which once again goes along with all the information that we learned from the No YouTube channel. So I believe, personally, that we're looking at some credible info, and this is going to be pretty much the reveal of the four Vault Hunters for Borderlands 3. Now, going back to the leaks, they said that the game was going to have multiple vaults, which kind of makes sense. We've never really had that in the Borderlands universe before, if you don't count the little ones, like the vault in the Mr. Torque DLC, for example. But uh, I feel as though this is going to be tying into the ending of Borderlands 2, the idea that there are so many different vaults out there in the universe for us to go and explore. And these new Vault Hunters that we've never heard of before, chances are they are the people that they get gathered, which we learned about towards the end of Borderlands, a pre-sequel, right? All these Vault Hunters are coming together to go and hunt all these different vaults, and the final bit of information we got from this leak is that there's going to be a showcase room of some sort in this game, which at first sounded really weird to me. It's like, well, why do we need a showcase room necessarily? But then it hit me, this is going to be the new stash, right? They're talking about a new and improved stash, where instead of having all your really awesome weapons that maybe you don't want to carry on your person at all times, 
instead of having them just be in a random stash somewhere or a vault or something like that somewhere, instead have this giant awesome room where all of your great weapons are on display. Borderlands is at the end of the day about the guns, so that actually does make a lot of sense. As of right now, that's pretty much where the leaks end for Borderlands 3. Once again, the reveal is said to be coming in early 2019. There are going to be four Vault Hunters at launch. One of them is going to be a soldier that has a giant robot mech, which is going to replace the default turret that we know traditionally for the soldier class. We're going to have a melee focused siren, a beast master who's going to have up to three different pets, and then of course the operative who's going to be somewhat similar to Zero and be using a bunch of gadgets. We're going to have multiple vaults in this game for us to hunt down, and there's going to be a big showcase room of some sorts. That's basically the extent of what we know so far based on the information we have available. And keep in mind, take everything with a pinch of salt. We are talking about leaked information here, but it all really does line up, especially with that art that was leaked that looks just like it was taken from the tech demo that Gearbox gave us. And if that art is going to look just like the tech demo, then chances are everything else in that art is also true. And that art lines up with what the No was saying on their YouTube channel. It just all lines up so perfectly together. But of course, once again, we are talking about leaked information here. There's a chance that none of this is true. But as someone who's been on YouTube for a very long time and has seen a lot of leaks over the years, this seems like one of the most credible ones I've probably ever seen in my time here on YouTube. It looks pretty freaking legit. And that's why I wanted to make this video here today. And as always, I will keep you guys posted with more Borderlands 3 news as it becomes available. I'm really hoping with all these leaks going around, I'm really hoping that just somehow they give us a teaser. Just the official art like we saw right here. Just give us the art. That's all we really need. Just show us what the Vault Hunters are going to look like. Something like that would be absolutely fantastic. But once again, I'll keep you guys posted with more details as they become available. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comments. Thank you all so much for listening. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.